Check, check. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to day one of the showdown in St. Louis, a set of two matches uh, of fun chess over the next four days. Our participants are Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura, Grandmaster Fabiano Caruana, Grandmaster Hao Yifan, and Grandmaster Parimarjan Negi. The players will compete today, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Today's format is Basque Chess, and Basque is a fun and innovative format in which the players will play two games concurrently, one with the white pieces and one with the black pieces. They'll have clocks on each of the two games, and they'll have to manage their time on both boards appropriately. Tomorrow, we'll play some Fisher Random Chess, four rounds. Saturday, four rounds of Rapid Chess, and Sunday, eight rounds of Blitz. The players are all uh, exciting, dynamic chess players, and I'm sure that we're going to enjoy the fireworks that they create over the board. Some basic announcements. Flash photography is allowed for the first 10 minutes. After that, you're still allowed to take photographs, but please no flash. Uh, reminder that no talking on this floor. Uh, there shouldn't be any other electronic devices or anything else that makes noise. Uh, the restrooms and the kitchen back there are for the players only. Uh, for spectators, uh, please use the main floor. Uh, as far as scoring goes, all games are weighted the same, worth one point. So today, each of the players are playing for two points on two different boards, two games. Tomorrow, there will be uh, four points available in the four Fisher Random, four Rapid, and eight Blitz. We've drawn four colors in order to determine who will start with the white pieces and who will start with the black pieces tomorrow. Um, Former women's world champion Hao Yifan has drawn black, so she will play with the black pieces starting tomorrow. And Pari will start with the white pieces. On this side, uh, Grandmaster Nakamura, uh, the current U.S. champion, will start with the white pieces. And Fabiano will start with the black pieces. I have no further announcements, and unless there are any questions, I wish the players the very best of luck. Enjoy today, and you may begin. And they're off. We've got... Um, Carolina already playing E4, and we do have a Sicilian. Are we going to see a double Sicilian? I doubt it. <laughs> that <will laughs> of be course. Intriguing. But I do think they're actually, I was thinking about strategy, and I was thinking from Nakamura's point of view, um, kind of based on what you were saying, mm -hmm. maybe it makes sense to play two very dynamic openings to try to kind of rattle your opponent and get it some kind of edge in the clock. Especially since nobody's experienced with this format, you might overestimate how much time you have because, hey, you've got 90 minutes on the clock. That seems like a lot. Right. But really, we know in, in reality, it's kind of like having half that much time. Yes. And by the way, I just noticing it, a, as the match just got st underway, uh, Hikaru basically s stayed at the second board, if you want to put it that way. And his clock has been ticking ever since the round began and when he was white. So he just kind of allowed his clock to tick uh, as white and concentrated on his black pieces. As we see, a lot of moves have been, been made in the second game. And now we see, uh, once again, uh, there, Fabi uh, shuffled his chair over to respond to uh, Hikaru's opening move. And we have a Sicilian on this board. And on the other board, we have a queen pawn opening. Right. So, and, and, and in fact, that that also might be less confusing. The fact that you have the, the two different openings and the two different boards. You know, I was thinking about that, and, yeah. I, and, and I think that's right. Uh, I like the idea of having two very distinct games, so it's easy to compart to mentalize them in your mind. Whereas if you were playing, you know, two very very similar opening positions. Uh, it could be awkward, but that's uh, true. But what's awkward for you is awkward for your opponent as well. Exactly. So, and it looks like a what? What do we have on the second board? It looks like we're doing yeah. some kind of Trompowski. I think so. Just a second. Let me just uh, bring that board. Yes, we have a Trump uh, D4. Let me go to the starting position. So again, so Knight Nakamura F6. can really play anything, but of course, this is not one of his usual. Usual, so a bit of a surprise already. Exactly. Bishop g5, e6, e4. So here, thanks to the pin of the knight against the queen, the pawn on e4, uh, you cannot capture. That's why we see the move h6, uh, forcing white to give up uh, the two bishop. Bishop f6, queen f6, knight c3, and as compensation for the loss of the two bs, uh, white has a, a nice little center at the moment. 